you've ever had jet lag, you'll know that it is a really horrible experience. It leaves you feeling groggy and just awful. So I'm Australian, I live in the US, and that means that I go back and forth between the two countries a lot. I've tried pretty much everything to get over jet lag, and the conventional wisdom says that you should do things like avoid napping, stay hydrated, and also expose yourself to light so you can adjust your body clock more quickly. And there are a bunch of different light therapy solutions on the market right now, including crazy headsets like this one from Ayo. I feel like I'm something out of Star Trek, like Jordi LaForge or something. But there is a new solution from a company called Lumos Tech and it's actually integrated into a sleep mask. So it's totally unobtrusive and it works while you sleep. So it's based on research from Stanford and I'm here now at Stanford VA Sleep Labs to talk to the founder and CEO of Lumos Tech, find out about the technology and then I'm gonna road test it on my next long haul flight. all about this. I noticed it doesn't look like your average sleep mask. Yeah, so for us, having the sleep mask be comfortable was paramount, but the real technology is in the hardware. Um, so we use this hardware module to emit short light pulses during the night. That t tells your body the sun is up when it's not, and in that way we can actually hack your biological system. So how much can you hack that biological system? Like how many time zones can I effectively compensate for in one session? On average, we can adjust people three to four hours in a single night. Wow. So if you're traveling from San Francisco to New York, you can arrive with no jet lag. No way, no jet lag at all? None. Oh my gosh. So how much will this compensate for, for like my 14 hour flight? Yeah, so if you are heading to Sydney from San Francisco, we would expect you to use the mask one night before your flight to prepare your body for the upcoming adjustment, and then one night at your destination and be ready to go after that. Okay, and so when I wear it the night before my flight, mm -hmm. obviously that light pattern is gonna start playing when I'm asleep. Now, am I gonna wake up the next day and feel kind of like I've been reset to Australia time? You might. So really? we have definitely had users who feel that they are more on Australia time, like they'll be hungrier at a different time, <laughs> um, you'll certainly feel tired at a different time. And so that's what we would expect, partial adjustment the first night and then completing that once you arrive. It's the night before my flight between San Francisco and Sydney. My bags are packed and I've put in my flight details in the app. So all that's left to do is get into bed and let the mask do its work. Good night. Good morning. I just got into work after my first night using the light therapy mask and I have to say I feel surprisingly refreshed which never happens, very unlike me. So this was a nice change. When I was going to sleep I noticed there were a couple of flashes going off. A little weird at first but I got used to it and the most important thing is they did not wake me up when I was falling asleep and when I was asleep which was great. So now all I have to do is finish up here at work and head to the airport. I am so sorry. I do not normally selfie vlog whatever from the toilet. Anyway, I am going to start using the sleep mask tonight. However, it is not going to be on light therapy mode. It is actually just going to be used as a normal light mask. And I was told that, that I actually don't need to do the light therapy on the plane itself. Just block out the light and try and get some sleep because otherwise it could be super distracting on the plane. We landed about 6 a.m. this morning. I got a couple hours of sleep on the plane, maybe five or six, and didn't feel too bad at all when I woke up. And I actually got home and I went for a run, which is unheard of, guys, absolutely unheard of. Like me going for a run the day after a long haul flight, mm -mm, doesn't happen. So I have one more night left of light therapy, that is tonight, but 
I feel pretty good right now, like very little evidence of jet lag, so I'm super excited. Hello! Hello! Bondi Beach, there you go, bye! After two nights of light therapy, I feel fully adjusted to Sydney time. But what if it's just a placebo effect? To make sure, I'm using it again on the return journey two weeks later. Airport, about to head back to San Francisco. I used the light mask last night. I am super tired right now. I'm gonna not wear the mask again on the plane. I'm just gonna sleep normally and then use it one more time when I get back to SF and cross my fingers and hope that jet lag is a thing of the past. But right now, I feel tired. I'm exhausted. I feel like as soon as I get on that plane, I'm gonna fall straight asleep. Just kidding, I don't actually feel all that bad. So I'm back in San Francisco. This is the second day after I landed. And the question that you want answered is, how do I feel? Like, did it actually cure my jet lag? Well, I definitely feel like I'm recovering a lot faster having used light therapy than if I didn't. And that's kind of the whole point. So here's what I really liked about using the sleep mask. I love that you could just basically enter all your travel dates in the app and then set and forget. Like you didn't have to know anything at all about light therapy. Plus, if you don't feel like you've adjusted fast enough, you have the option to add another night of light therapy inside the app too. What I didn't like is I was concerned that when I was asleep, like I had no way of knowing if the light therapy actually worked apart from the app saying, yes, you know, your light therapy is complete. So Lumos Tech is going to be coming out around the end of 2018, fingers crossed, because I really do not want to do long haul travel without this ever again. Like it's made the experience so much more bearable and so much more pleasant. So that's my jet lag test. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and let me know what you want me to try out and experience next. Find me on Twitter. Find me in the comments. Thanks for watching. I love my naps. <laughs> the wind. <laughs> yeah, the wind. <laughs> ah, some air in my hair.